So the war on cops is getting worse, unfortunately. So last year saw a disturbing increase in police getting killed in the line of duty. 331 officers were shot, with 64 of them losing their lives. That's roughly a 21% increase over the average from 2010 to 2020. The police union has a theory on what's behind it. We have a culture of lawlessness that has gripped this country. It's been fueled by an open border, rogue DAs, activist judges, a revolving door criminal justice system, and generally a society that tells people you're no longer accountable for your own actions. But President Biden has an idea on how to help the police. We have to retrain cops as to why should you always shoot for de with deadly force? The fact is, if you need to use your weapon, you don't have to do that. And look, to call a fresh approach to recruit and how we recruit, how we hire, how we train, how we promote, and how we retain, retain law enforcement. And while police officers get demoralized and departments deal with recruitment struggles, this isn't helping. The LAPD banning a thin blue line flag from one of its stations following a complaint from someone who thought it represents racist, bigoted views. Um, Greg, any thoughts on what Biden said today on this theory of just shoot them in the leg? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he knows what he's saying. Remember, I mean, it, 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 I don't know. It, it's sad because we're still recuperating from a spasm of anti-cop hatred from four years ago, three years ago. We're still not back to normal. There's been a delay, a lag between what we knew was wrong and what people are doing about it. I mean, we still have to have a debate over no cash bail, right? He still is bad mouthing cops, just like he bad mouthed the, you know, the, the, the uh, immigration, the uh, border agents. Media approved and elevated anti police sentiment to such a degree that fighting crime has been perceived as racist that even by, by supporting the police, that's somehow racist. I don't know if we're ever going to get back to normal after this. I think that what we're probably going to be see is an evolution towards private police for those who can afford it, mm -hmm. and everyone else gets a gutted, bare police force in the inner city. It'll be like first class and coach. Mm -hmm. It'll be like reserve seats and general admission, uh, or private and worse, it'll be like private and public bathrooms. Because the fact is, the people that are pushing a lot of this stuff they're wealthy Democrats. They don't have to worry about their safety. They don't. Their policies and, and their personal consequences never meet. So I have a I, I have a feeling that this is going in a weird direction where we're going to have just two separate police forces. Well, the the trajectory of all of this is not good, Judge, and it continues. But how do you think cops across the country will react to what President Biden said? It it further adds to their. To the morale problem, the, the, the fact that they've been denigrated, uh, defunded, um, you know, demoralized. I mean, the cops now know the statistic. I mean, the big statistic this year is that 2022 saw a disturbing increase in law enforcement fatalities, 64 in 2022, which is something like 21 percent over the, the average of 53 over the last decade. So they know they're being shot at and killed. They're being ambushed. They're being bad-mouthed. And this does nothing. And that's why they're leaving the force, many of them, before they're even eligible for retirement. Right. But I want to talk about this LAPD chief, Michael Moore. Chief Moore, you're a wuss, okay? <laughs> you're a wuss, okay? I got the word right this time. I would have gone tougher, but I can't. The truth is, you <laughs> represent the people in law enforcement, and you agree because one person complained that you're going to take the side of these cop-hating, the people who hate law enforcement, you're going to buckle to the leftist apologists, and those people who hate law and order, shame on you. You ought to get the hell out of there. I know you want to be the chief, the chief of police, but you work for a communist. Mayor Bass is a mayor who's well known for being tied to and supporting top members of the Communist Party of the United States. They don't care about law and order. They only care about anarchy, and he is just supporting it. That's why the union is wild over this. Joey, you talked to somebody at the LAPD today? Yeah, first of all, you don't surrender that which is sacred. Only cowards do that. And if this, if this thin blue line symbol is sacred to those who lose brothers and sisters on the police force, you are not being a leader by surrendering that because you believe somebody has co-opted it. You fight back, you take control of it, you use it appropriately, and you out-talk 
the bad talkers. You are louder than they are with this symbol that is sacred to you. I want to know who, who complains about this. It's not the single mom who's working three jobs and comes into the police force or comes into the precinct to argue against a parking ticket she can't afford. It's not the dad that comes in to get his rowdy son out of jail that pays taxes and abides by the law no matter what color or creed they are. The people that complain about this, according to people that work there, are skilled anti-police activists who understand the complaint system and knew exactly what yeah. to do to include filing this complaint from my understanding from my friend that works at LAPD, filing this complaint at the same precinct that Officer Arroyos worked out of on the one-year anniversary of him being murdered, hunted down and murdered by a gang. Uh, they are sending a message, and this police chief is, is just accepting it. Geraldo. Well, first of all, I, I agree with what uh, Greg said about the George Floyd hangover. I think that society really is still uh, still suffering from what happened uh, in uh, Minneapolis. And uh, and what happened as a result of it and, and the extremes that it went to and the damage that was done and the schism that was, uh, that was created. And it is very sad to me, to follow up on what Joey was saying, it is very sad to me that this wonderful symbol of the, of the thin blue line has been co-opted by some people who are racist and bigoted. But I think the only way you fight that is to take it back, fight it back, grab it back, take back that, uh, the, fly it on your front lawn, uh, wear the, the pin, uh, celebrate the relationship with cops. They are the thin blue line between anarchy and civilization. That sounds old-fashioned sometimes, but it is still true. What would world, the world be? What would America be? What would this city or your city or your town be without a cop? Mm -hmm. A cop that you could trust and call on? Your, your kid is choking or, uh, you know, someone's been shot or the store's been stuck up or this or that. Who do you call? You call the cop. You call the cop. Say your prayers, you call the cop. I think that it's really, uh, uh, it is, it's infuriating. And, and that, I just say, so simple. Thank you for your service. Yeah. It's a Thank you for your service. noble and honorable position, and we need them. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.